to do whatever may be necessary. That's pretty far reaching. That's the sky's the limit. Hi YouTube. We're giving the music a break for a, a bit of back to religion bashing. Just picked up a little story there, hot off the press, as they say from BBC. Um, what an interesting title, yeah. What happens at an atheist church? Um, I, my first instinct, I'm thinking, oh, the Church of Scientology, the Church of something. Uh, it's just an interesting little story. Apparently, as this report will say, you know, the first um, um, atheist church in Britain. Um, I don't like, it, it, an old church building, I don't like the vocabulary. Why not be a club or something like that? Um, but otherwise, well, have a look at the video and see what you think. And I'll pose some questions to you after. Sunday morning in Islington. And as you might expect, some people are going to church. It's really nice to get together with people and have a sing and listen to something positive. But this is not a typical congregation. I don't believe in any gods. I don't see why churches should own Sunday morning. Wow! Hello, everyone! And it could never be called a typical church. My pastor's a devil! <laughs> My pastor is a sociopath, and my pastor is a control freak. I am, if anything, overqualified for this job. It's said to be the first atheist church in Britain, and the service is led by a comedian called Sanderson Jones. And that's not so it's handing around titles, because I think the moment you get a title, you're just a short distance from a robe and a silly hat. Don't stop me! Instead of hymns, they sing pop songs. Instead of prayers, there's two minutes of silence. If you wouldn't mind just uh, closing your eyes. And the only cross to be found here is on the first aid kit. It's not a question of me not liking God, it's a question of the fact that I simply don't believe in it. Don't stop me now, such a good time. Of course we're not taking the mickey out of the church. We, if anything, we are trying to uh, build upon it. We thank you for giving us strength today, oh God. And right next door to the atheist church is a Christian church albeit with a smaller congregation. So what do they make of the new arrival? No, I have not mind because I believe that, you know, in process of time, with love, people will come to know the God that we serve. Super, thanks a lot for well. coming. Think about it, uh, all the atoms, uh, all the atoms in your hand were created uh, because of some billion to one antimatter imbalance, a trillionth of a trillionth of a second after the universe began. The collection at the Atheist Church will help to pay for it, and the plan now is to add another Sunday service, and even set up in other cities, if the idea spreads. Gareth Furby, BBC London News. So as the lady said, yeah, I mean, why should uh, Sunday mornings belong to uh, religion or the church and that? People... D oh, well, I I think it's a good idea, to be honest. I mean, I, I, like I started, um, one's natural instinct as an atheist is to reject authority figures and that but as the man said himself you know we're not wearing silly hats and, and stuff like that i think people will always need to congregate everyone i mean we do conference um we have an online community um i wouldn't be so cynical i mean i, I had to think about it myself for a little bit yeah w what's wrong with that getting together um music concerts comedy readings if you want, and yeah, even a little meditation if everyone agrees with it. I don't like the idea of anyone giving orders, but when you think about it, someone has to organize the show, I mean, and I don't think that's, that's the worst thing in the world. Um, yes, and collecting money too, because um, I'm not sure the status of it, but if it's a, um, a rented building or just to pay for the electricity or the heating, I think it's an excellent idea, and I, I kind of quite like the idea of um, more of it. Um, it's kind of organized anarchy. Um, and it is a statement to others um, that, you know, the things really and truly that people love about organized religion, the music, especially sort of modern evangelical stuff, the, the guitar playing, the, the, the songs, the hymns, whatever. Um, but people love that. And it's like even, you know, to high Anglican communion or Roman Catholic uh, pomp and ceremony, the smell of incense and that. You know, we're all suckers for that kind of thing. Oh, a lot of people are, everybody. They just love the ceremony, the candles, all that kind of thing. Um, so I, I, I honestly think it's quite a good idea that it's just like give people, uh, you know, 
give them back something of that that they that they will miss too much that or perhaps would keep them in religion or keep them going to mass or a ceremony just because it's, it's it can be deliciously wonderful the big organ and playing Bach it's wonderful but wh why wouldn't wouldn't that be the ultimate revenge don't you think to sort of occupy these buildings you know take down the religious iconography or leave it up as a momentum if you want but um, someone getting down their knees and, and blessing themselves would be frowned upon. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, do what you want. Uh, but, you know, just sort of maintain all of that kind of thing. Um, but just take God and religion and ceremony and bullshit out of it. Um, that's it. A, a socio-communal effort, uh, I think, is a cool idea. I think it's wonderful. Um, and I really hope it takes off. So, what do you think? People often say, you know, that... Uh, you know, getting atheists to organize themselves to get together and anything is like herding cats, of course. But don't you think it's a cool idea? I mean, other genres of life have their Sunday morning rituals, namely football and other thing, the need to congregate. The cathedral, or the football stadium rather, has um, replaced the cathedral, the open square, the common square. Um, I think it's the coolest idea in the world, and um, I would, you know, if there were more like it, this is the first in London or the first in England, um, I think it's uh, a good idea, as long as, well, I mean, if, if people get pissed off with it and um, under the atheist manifesto or agenda, you, you just don't go back there again, there's no obligation, so it's in everyone's interest to make it work, but I think it's terribly important, like I said, um, community, the need to congregate and get together, and, and um, you know, to know that other people feel like you do. And I love it because it's in reality. Touch, feel, see, rather than um, the online thing. Maybe we did kick it off on the internet, but maybe it's time to move it out of the virtual world and back to reality. Um, anyway, what do you think about that? It won't be for everybody, but um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I might set one up over here in my part of the world. I think it's a cool idea. Yeah. Feedback is welcome. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.